got some uh, tearing in his medial meniscus across here, some weakness of his coronary ligament, which is what holds the medial meniscus in place. And that's what we have to go on besides the diagnostic ultrasound that we'll do in just a minute here. Well, it's always best to say that you can never completely replace surgery. There will always be severe cases that will need surgical intervention. However, probably 95% of orthopedics currently is degenerative orthopedics. It's the process of the body becoming weaker and falling apart, losing collagen, losing tendon ligament structure, which the body then breaks down to some degree, and that's going on in all of us as we speak. Um, all of those processes can be reversed and regenerated. Um, depending on when you catch them, it's sometimes very easy to heal things that have been done surgically for many years. Regenix has a separate research team for the sole purpose of advancing the technology. All of this continues to evolve. We continue to find better ways to process cells. We continue to be able to find new ways to get more cells out of the same tissue and we continue to try to improve the ability of what it is we're using in, in healing the patient. So one of the examples of how we've innovated is that we've been able to create SD+. So the concept of a same day procedure that instead of going after the same fraction in bone marrow that contains stem cells, we've been able to go after a second fraction and add that to the original fraction. That second fraction was recently discovered to have a large amount of stem cells. And we've been able to find ways to minimally process it so that we can release those stem cells. We're isolating now five to seven times more stem cells from the same exact sample as we were just a year ago. I think moving forward, it's in a very exciting time. This is one of the most exciting times in medicine, and we're seeing just the dawn of an entire philosophical and therapeutic change. And behind that is regenerative medicine. So I predict in the future that we are going to see an entire tsunami of therapies that are not surgical that are in fact stem cell based for a multitude of disorders. The ultimate goal of, of the Regenix Research Program is to allow us to stay ahead of the rest of the pack, to allow us to continue to innovate as physicians. And, and that's a really important distinction because most innovation occurs uh, from bench scientists who aren't looped into what happens in the real world in the clinic. By allowing physicians to innovate at this level, we get practical solutions that can stay way ahead of where everyone else is. So we've developed uh, with our research staff specialized needles that are able to reach parts of intervertebral discs. We have special needles that are able to reach ligaments and, uh, and tendons, bring them together so that, they're, so that they can heal together. These are things that we've researched, developed, and uh, we have the patents for. The investment by John Malone has allowed us to really up our game to the next level so that we've built out a completely separate research facility. We've been able to buy all the same equipment that you would find in a university stem cell research lab. We've been able to improve our ability to develop devices, hire additional staff to allow all of that to happen. Flow cytometry allows us to look at how many of a certain cell type are in a big sample. ELISA allows us to look at exactly what it is the cells are producing. Fluorescent microscopy allows us to look inside the cell and see exactly what's going on inside this, each individual cell. Uh, inversion microscopy allows us to look at the cells while they're living so that we don't have to kill them to stain them. PCR allows us to look at the genes inside the cells or to look at what genes the cells are expressing. We do the procedures and we're always not only looking forward, we're looking back, 
so that we can understand how to make improvements, what techniques will be the best results for our patients. So we are passionate about this and we bring to that forefront an entire department, an entire collection of individuals that are committed to that level of excellence. This is our core practice. This is the vision of Regenix.